Hi, we have prepared 2020 GCO level chemistry practical just for you. In fact, it's not a difficult paper. The front portion, if you follow through all the videos that we have prepared, you will realize that the front part, if you just follow through the preparation and the execution, everything is easy peasy. Well, the last part, the three months question regarding a particular solution needs you to know a little bit about concentration. And that is an interesting part. So I can't wait to show you guys how to do it. So sit back, watch and learn. The question goes like this. You are provided with two samples of solid P, a sample of solution Q, two samples of solution R, label R1 and R2, a sample of solution I, screen meter orange indicator. Q is a sort. Now, when they say that Q is a sort, I will highlight it and then tell myself that it is a cation and an anion. And for those of you that have been following through all my uh, practicals videos, you will know that I will call them the Mr. and the Mrs. And they go on to say that solution R1 and R2 have different concentration. The next one, they say carry out the following test and you should test and identify any gases evolved. Carefully record your observation. Well, this statement is a very common statement that we see in all kinds of practicals. Now, you go on to say the volumes given below are approximate and should be estimated rather than measured unless instructed otherwise let's move on they say question a they say add about 5 cm depth of lime water into a clean test tube over here I have a clean test tube 5 cm remember we always say that it's approximate so this is about 2 cm 2 cm 2 cm over here and another 2 cm approximate well is around here and I will label this as lime water and this is my part a and since it's just lime water, I can quickly use the lime water that I have over here, which is calcium hydroxide, pour it in and set it aside. They move, go on to say, remove the stopper from one of the boiling tube containing P, which is this one over here. Heat this boiling tube containing solid P gently for about a minute. While you are heating the boiling tube containing P, withdraw several samples of gas from the boiling tube using a dropper pipette. Well, they actually needed you to use a teat pipette. So I'm going to put this right over in front of me. And then you go on to say do not allow the drop dropper pipette to touch the boiling tube and bubble each sample of gas into the lime water. Well, it's very obvious that they are testing for gas over here and because lime water is involved, I'm actually looking for white precipitate because carbon dioxide should be evolved. Alright, so and if you forgot, let's see over here. Lime water test is always testing for carbon dioxide. When we see a white precipitate in a lime water, it is an evidence to show that CO2 is present. Let's move on to the second part. Part B, it says over here, add about 1 cm depth of solution Q into the other boiling tube containing P. Well, I have this over here, which is my P, another solid P. 1 cm depth of solution Q. So, prepare 1 cm. This is about 2 cm. 1 cm is just a tiny little bit over here. So this is solution Q and this is my part B. So I quickly add a little bit of Q over here to make sure that I've prepped about 1 cm already and I just leave it over here. Later on, I can start doing it. Say over here, add about 1 cm depth of solution Q into the other boiling tube containing solid P, shake the mixture, and place the boiling tube in the test tube to allow the content to settle well. This seems to be that I'm about to observe something that happened when I mix this, the solution and the solid together. So, I will just leave it later to see the observation. Let's move on. Now, part C over here, they say add about 1 cm depth of Q into a te clean test tube, so 1 cm depth, this is about 1 cm, and this is Q, and then they say another 1 cm depth of nitric acid, so I'm going to write nitric acid, HNO3, and then you go on to say to the same test tube at about 1 cm depth of barium nitrate, same thing, remember, these are all estimated, so barium nitrate, and I quickly write down, because it's preparation, let's not spend too much time. And because it's barium nitrate, I highlight and I highlight all this. 
go back to the QA notes over here, which I fondly quoted the Bible, and over here says barium nitrate. Yes, I know. Barium nitrate is really a test for sulfate if there's a white PPT. So I quickly write here sulfate. So let's move on. Now, move on to my part D now. Part D over here says to about 1 cm depth of solution Q, add about 1 cm depth of solution Q into a clean test tube. To this, add another 1 cm depth of nitric acid. It seems to be the same as what we have just now. And then now, HNO3 to the same test tube, 1 cm depth of silver nitrate. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, now is silver. AG, NO3. And then I quickly write down here as D and I place it right in front of me. And because it's silver nitrate, I will write here, this is a test for chloride. And they go on to say, add aqueous ammonia slowly and stir with a glass rod until no further changes are seen. Well, aqueous ammonia is a test for actually cat ion and N just now for chloride because I'm so familiar with it. Of course, I know it's chloride. But even if you're not, if you take a look over here, silver nitrate, silver nitrate over here, chloride test. Now, this one is aqueous ammonia. This is aqueous ammonia. It's a test for all my cation. So, I quickly write down cation test. Now, now let's move on. They go on to say add about 1 cm depth of Q into a clean test tube. This is my part E now. So, quickly 1 cm. This is 2. Estimate 1 cm over here. This is my Q. To this test tube, add sodium hydroxide slowly. Well, they did not tell you the amount, but they just say keep adding slowly until no further changes is seen. So I just need to add an A. O H here. Okay, and this is my part E. Let me let me put this aside. And of course, sodium hydroxide. I'm sure all of you is familiar. It's definitely a test for my cat ion as well. So Without further ado, I have finished prepping for this portion here. Now, they go on to say, later on, using your observation, deduce the identity of Q. Here, they already say it, Q is a salt, which means that it's a cation and anion test. And this portion here, if you take note, is all about Q. So, answer over here it will be very easy, okay, when we do it. So, let's move to the next page. So just one conclusion about P that you can draw from your observation, which is the previous portion over here about P, which is A and B over here. Now, let's move on to part G. In this question, you are going to compare the concentration of two solutions of a basic, keyword basic. Well, basic, in theory, means that it is all our metal oxide. And since they are in solution form, they, are, they should be our metal hydroxide. Now, using a measuring cylinder, transfer 2 cm cube of solution R1 into a clean, into the test tube label R1, R1 over here. I have over here my measuring cylinder. Same thing, measuring cylinder. They say 2 cm is about here. I also mark and I mark here as R1. They go on to say using a different measuring cylinder. So, it's important I measure, I label it so that I won't. I won't get confused later. So using a different measuring cylinder, transfer 2 cm cube and make sure that I write down R2 here. They go on to say add about 6 drops of I, which is a screen meter orange indicator to both test tube. They put a big cross here and said, yeah, I don't have to do anything at all. Let's move on. Using a dropper pipette, add nitrate acid drop by drop with shaking until the indicator changes from green to purple. That's what I'm going to see over there later. Same thing over here, using the same dropper, add dilute nitrate acid drop by drop uh, with shaking to R2 until the indicator changes from green to purple. Same thing. And we count and record the number of drops and we make a conclusion later about which one is more concentrated. Well, this is very easy, we can do it later. So we are filming, finish preparing, we will start the execution. Hey, thank you so much for sitting through and watching through the entire preparation part. So next up, we are going to do the execution. So sit back and watch the next video.